all right y'all so i'm back so my oil is heating up um uh, but not to the point where it's going to be boiling because we don't want this to be super hot but so the herbs that i put in there is moringa i put some horsetail i put some lemon and china if i know i'm probably saying that wrong um just to name a few um like i i just did like i said some random herbs but if you're making herbs at um if you're making herbs if you're making oil at home this is how you could do it just get a nice size pot this i like to use this one because it's bigger and so um and it heats up faster you can see you can just see the herbs in there um and then you could just use olive oil grapeseed oil almond oil and you want it to be 100 percent of that oil so no added ingredients um a lot of people are like uh-uh girl you cook with that let me tell you something that is the same oil that you could use for your face, your body. Um, grapeseed oil has more benefits than just cooking. Same thing with olive oil. Like all the oils have good benefits, not just cooking. So look and do research on different oils and their properties. Um, Cause believe it or not, grapeseed, <laughs> grapeseed oil is grapeseed oil. Olive oil is olive oil. The only thing is a lot of the store-bought olive oils and grapeseed oils are added in with other stuff. So that's what makes it bad. But when you buy 100% of that oil, it's it's purified. It's oil is oil. Like 100% grapeseed oil is oil. Like So don't let nobody tell you, oh, you using store-bought oil, 100% um, um, unrefined olive oil or grapeseed oil is bad. You need to use grapeseed oil like even if you were to buy it on amazon it's the same thing it's just not in this bottle so but i'm just gonna let this um do its thing and simulate and i'll come back you guys can already see it's already starting to infuse in the oil so i will come back and show you guys how i strain it and then we're gonna bottle this up and i'm gonna start pre-pulling my hair